myself Mitali Jain and in today's session we will learn about digital oscilloscope of 10 megahertz and uh, its order code is DSO1016B. It's basically used to measure the waveform and through this we can also check the different parameters such as amplitude, we can increase and decrease the amplitude, can calculate the voltage, current, frequency and different parameters. So in detail we will study in our further video. This is our oscilloscope, its bandwidth is 60 megahertz and rise time is 5.8 ns. So as you can see that this is its display screen, this is the display, it displays the traces and after that there is a run and stop button, it enables or disables the sampling or input signals, then after that there is a VAR which is at right position and which is basically used to provide continuous variable sweep rate and turn clockwise until the waveform does not change its calibration position. This is position button, position no basically, it is uh, in horizontal position or uh, control of trace on the screen. Then after that this is the level knob. So, in this uh, it controls the signal trigger to sweep at certain level. So, if it is moved towards the negative as you can see that there are two symbols there here is negative and in the level this is the positive side. So, if we will move towards the negative side then trigger level move downward on the display waveform and if we will move trigger towards the positive side then it will move upward on the display screen. Then after that there is a time and division. So, it will select the sweep rate and uh, there is R2 knobs as you can see that this is the push button which is of lock. So, through this when the lock button is pressed down the trigger level is automatically maintained at optimum value irrespective of signal amplitude. Then after that there are norm, auto and TV. So, you can select the de desired triggering mode. Then after that there are you can see that there are two input this is x input and uh, this is y input. So, when switching to x y it is x terminal input. So, then after that there is a int line and external at x input. So, it is basically used to select the trigger source. Then after that there is a calibration CAL signal and there is a CAL ground also. Then after that uh, here is AC, DC and uh, grounding. So, AC is basically blocks the DC component and uh, DC passes both AC and DC component of input signal and ground the third part basically disconnect the input signal and when we will talk about the Y input it is vertical input terminal. Then after that we will talk about plus minus and XY. If positive is for is here positive is for trigger on rising slope, negative is for trigger on falling slope and x y is the position is used when uh, using the instrument on an x y oscilloscope. Then after that this is the voltage per division knob which is adjusting sensitivity of vertical system. And then after that this is the position knob, we can control the vertical position of trace on the screen. Then after that this is the VAR knob for left position, the, there are two VR no, it is for right position and this is for left position and uh, there is a power switch which provides the mains power on it off. So, uh, this is the basic uh, description of all the components which are uh, provided on the uh, screen on this front panel basically. So, this is the display where we will get the output. So, now talking about its rear panel, so you can see that here we will connect the power cord and here we will use the its voltage range is from AC 100 volt to 240 volt 50 60 hertz and power is less than or equal to 15 watt. So, in this experiment we have used a function generator. So, if we will generate the output on this function generator like there are different waveforms such as sine, rectangular, triangular, square. So, we can uh, check all the waveform on this and we will generate the waveform on this and we can see these waveform in on the screen of oscilloscope. So, we will connect the y input of this to 
its output so after that we will make the certain ch uh, changes so for uh, first of all we have to switch on the power supply now we will switch on the supply of dso so you can see that we have switched on the supply now we will connect the probe uh, which will be connected in y input to its output so as i have connected at this end now i'll connect on this end and after that we will connect this probe so we will connect the x input and the test lead at the end point so this is the whole setup we have made now after that we have to click on the output then after that here i have pressed the run stop so you can see that as i have selected the sine wave so on this dso oscilloscope basically cro we are able to see the uh, sine wave and if you want to uh, change the dimension so you can change through this and so you can change the dimension you can do this then after that if i'll select the square wave so you can see the square wave and if i set the triangular wave so you can see the triangular wave on the cro display so in this way we can also set the position if you would like to move up down up down you can uh, set through this and this is for time per division so you can make in this way you can make the certain changes so you can also make the certain changes by using the function generator like this is the knob also provided on the function generator so if you want so you can see that the waveform is shrinked and if you would like to expand the waveform so you can rotate it in anti clockwise so you can see that our waveform is rotating so you can see that at a particular certain level it has been reached where the amplitude is 5 vpp and offset is 2.5 volt and you can also mention the uh, frequency like this is basically used for 10 megahertz so here the frequency is mentioned and you can also do these things through this also so you can see Uh, in this way we can generate the different waveform and we can also measure the different waveform uh, through oscilloscope so uh, as you have seen that through this sine wave triangle square wave triangular wave different waveform we can generate through this so in this way we are able to uh, check the waveform on this oscilloscope friends this is all about today's session i hope we have learned a lot about oscilloscope like we have uh, seen its different features on the oscilloscope front panel and we have also seen its working through function generator so in this way uh, we have learned a lot about oscilloscope so this is all about today's session for further query you can contact otesca technologies private limited and you can also refer to our user manual which is provided with the system So thank you for watching the video